it's Donna with Resale Tips and Tales. And today I am bringing you a special video, uh, a special tip for eBay for those unpaying buyers. Nothing more annoying than having an amazing sale and then the buyer doesn't pay. And yes, that can happen on eBay. So it depends on how you set your uh, listings up. If you do a buy it now, you can click the box that says require immediate payment, which is what I do. However, I also offer best offer. Uh, so if someone gives me an offer on an item and I accept the offer or even counter and they accept the offer, they are not required by eBay to pay immediately. They don't have anything set up <laughs> that requires them to pay, which has never made sense to me, but that's the way it is. Also, if you have an auction, again, they're not required to pay immediately. I guess eBay's train of thought is they may not be present at that moment when the auction ends or when the best offer is accepted, um, but either way, you may be stuck with some items that haven't been paid for. First tip, do not ship it until you have the money in your account because eBay does not care if you ship the item and never get paid. So, and the buyer's not responsible, which is crazy, right? So you wanna have something, a system in place to follow up with those unpaid items and the buyers. Um, and there's two different ways that you can do this and people do it different. Uh, it's how you run your business. So I'll share with you those two different ways. Um, I personally like to manage things myself. I like to go in and open the unpaid claims on my own. But eBay does have a second option where they have what's called an unpaid um, assistant. So they will do it automatically for you. So I'm gonna show both of those methods for you. Um, so let me get the camera set up and I'll show you my screen and how to go about doing that. Hold on one moment. Okay, so the first method, like I said, is to do it manually. So after two days, I actually send this message to my buyer. eBay payment reminder. I just wanted to send a friendly reminder about your winning bid on the silver waste bag, which ended on 8-30-2017. I want to ensure that you receive your item in a timely manner. However, I am not able to ship the item until payment has been received. I normally require payment within two days of the auction ending. Please let me know if you have any questions and thank you for your purchase. Thanks. Again, if I don't hear from them in another two days, I have to go into my uh, orders here, as you see, and go to the ones that are awaiting payment. Now, the one at the bottom here, you can see, I've been waiting since April 4th. Um, so I'm gonna go into this one so that I can open the unpaid assistant by myself. Um, I just need to follow up with it. So right next to the item, you're gonna see a drop-down menu um, where it says awaiting payment. Um, and then once you click on that, you're gonna be given the option um, to select. Let's see what the options are here. Okay, so you're still waiting for payment. Okay, so then it takes you here, it says open an unpaid item case. All right, from this screen, you are gonna select the little bubble that says the buyer has not paid for the item. And then you're gonna hit submit. All right, and there you go. So now the case has successfully been open for yourself. Um, and then I'm gonna show you in a minute how to go in and close the case. Now eBay does, I believe you have to wait two days before you can open an unpaid item case. And then I believe you have to wait four more days after that in order to close the case. Now when you close the case, the nice thing is, is that eBay will give you your final value fees back and you can also decide whether or not you want to relist the item. Okay, so now after you've waited your four days, you have to go into your account settings. And then we are gonna go to our resolution center on the left-hand side, the bottom one says resolution center. Click on that one. And this is gonna take us to our unpaid items that are open, the cases, so that we can go in and close them. So scroll on down past the top part and your cases should be listed. It says there your requests and cases. And I have the one that I just opened. So on the right hand side it says take action. So we're gonna click on that so that we can go in and decide what we wanna do with this case. Now when you do this manually, you have to take this step. You have to do it within 37 days of the sale date. So it says request to close. It says uh, if you've received payment, you can close this case now. Um, however, I have to come back on April 12th, um, which happens to be today <laughs> for this video, um, and then I have to close it manually. Um, but before that, it will not let you close it. Uh, but when you scroll down, it's going to give you an option. Have you received payment? Yes or no? There you go. Have you received payment from the buyer? Um, and here I'd say yes if they did pay me. Sometimes they do, uh, but most of the times they don't. And then if I hit no, it, you would hit submit and it would close the case. 
um, and you would again get that final value fee um, from closing the case and then it will give you the option to relist the item which of course you would want to do Okay, and then the second option is to have eBay do it for you automatically. So this is especially important if you have a lot of uh, unpaid items for some reason. So you're gonna go into your account settings again, and this is kind of buried a little bit, so you have to watch what I'm doing here. Now scroll down, and on the left-hand side of your screen, you're gonna see it says Site Preferences. So you're gonna click on the Site Preferences. It's gonna give you a whole bunch of stuff. You're gonna scroll down again, and then to the middle of the screen about, it says unpaid item assistant. Now off to the right-hand side, it says to show. You're gonna click show, and then it shows here that I have no, because I like to do them manually, like I just told you. Um, but here it says that you can also edit it, and that's what we're gonna show you, um, so that you can turn it on for eBay to do this for you. So you're gonna click edit. All right, and here you are, your unpaid item assistant preferences. Now you have the yes or the no, and we're gonna click yes. I want unpaid item assistant to open, the, close the cases on my behalf. It's gonna give you some more options when you click the little bubble. And over to the right, you're gonna select how many days after the person has not paid do you want to open this, and I selected four days. There is no reason that you should be waiting any longer. They should be paying as soon as they are getting the item. Also, I would elect to do the send me an email when unpaid item assistant opens the case, and also when they close the case, they'll send you an email automatically relist this item? I would say no, because you wanna make sure you make any adjustments that you possibly need to do before you relist the item. Now you'll see the box here is exclusion list. You can put specific member ID numbers in here, but I don't know how you would use this or why you would use this, but it gives you that option if you have someone specifically maybe that doesn't pay. Um, I'm gonna switch mine back over to no thanks, and then I'm gonna hit submit. <laughs> and then it will save your settings. And that's all guys. Um, just make sure you go in and make sure you're manually looking at these things because you still don't want eBay to have complete control over your account. So I would suggest to still go into your resolution center um, even on a weekly basis and make sure you're following up on these items. All right guys, until next time, make sure you comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about this or if you've had experience with it or other tips that you wanna share and make sure you like and subscribe to the videos. Okay guys, until next time, happy thrifting.